Next, we're going to talk about the accessory organs. Beside the salivary glands found in the mouth, there are other accessory organs needed for digestion, including the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas. The liver is an organ that conducts many functions vital to life. It receives about one and a half quarts of blood every minute from the hepatic portal vein, carrying blood full of end products of digestion, and the hepatic artery providing oxygen-rich blood. So here we have a picture of your liver. So the liver sits in front of your stomach. Over here we have the pancreas. Your liver has different sections. Within the liver, many things occur. Metabolism, breakdown of food products, glycogen, um, storage, as well as um, gluconeolysis. Uh, the Production of bile comes from the liver. Production of cholesterol comes from the liver. So here we have the hepatic duct. So bile will come through the hepatic duct, and then it will go up here through the cystic duct and be stored in the gallbladder. And when we eat things that have fats in them that need special breakdown chemicals, the chemical specifically bile, that gets released from the gallbladder, travels back through the cystic duct into what's known as the common bile duct, because it's got two ducts off of it, and it travels down into the, the duodenum. Now on this side, we have the pancreas. Now we talked about the pancreas and the endocrine function with insulin and glucagon, but here the pancreas has an exocrine function. So it's outside, it doesn't travel the Chemicals don't travel through the bloodstream. They actually have a duct system. So the chemicals are made in the pancreas, including bicarbonate, amylase, um, lipase. So those chemicals travel through the pancreatic duct and also empty into the duodenum in the digestive process. The liver performs many functions. It detoxifies the body of harmful substances, such as medications, drugs, and alcohol. It also helps create body heat. It destroys old blood cells and recycles their unusual, uh, their usual parts while eliminating the unneeded parts, such as the pigment bilirubin, which is eliminated in the bile, and gives feces its distinctive color. Forms of blood plasma proteins, such as albumin and globulin, um, are formed in the, the liver. Other functions are producing clotting factors, such as fibrinogen and prothrombin, and creates anticoagulant heparin. And that's not all that the liver does. It manufactures bile, which is needed for the digestion of fats, stores and modifies fats for more efficient usage by the body cells, and synthesizes urea, which is a byproduct of protein metabolism, so that it can be excreted by the body. And there's more. <laughs> simple sugar <coughs> is stored, as uh, the simple sugar glucose is stored as glycogen, and when the blood sugar's levels fall below normal, the liver can, can uh, reconvert the glycogen into glucose. It releases enough into the bloodstream to bring the blood sugar levels back to an acceptable concentration. The liver also stores fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K, as well as water-soluble vitamin, vitamin B12, which is known as cyanocobalamine. And... Cholesterol is also made in the liver. Now bile, which is made in the liver but stored in the gallbladder, is a hormone secretin. It stimulates, uh, the hormone secretin stimulates bile production. So salts found in bile act like a detergent. They break down fats up into tiny droplets and process called emulsification, making work of the digestive enzymes easier. Bile helps absorb fat from small intestine and transports bilirubin and excess cholesterol to the intestine for elimination. Bile leaves the liver via the hepatic duct and travels through the cystic duct to the gallbladder where it's stored there until 
In the gallbladder, while storing bile, much of the water from the bile is absorbed, making it six to ten times more concentrated. If it becomes overconcentrated, bile salts can solidify and form gallstones. Fatty acids in the duodenum cause the release of CCK. The release causes smooth muscle walls of the gallbladder to contract, squeezing bile into the cystic duct through the common bile duct and into the duodenum. The pancreas, as I've stated, is both an exocrine and an endocrine organ. And Exocrine portion secretes buffers and digestive enzymes through pa the pancreatic duct into the duodenum. It buffers <clears throat> with uh, chemicals such as bicarbonate are needed to neutralize the acidity of the chyme, the pH ranging from 7.5 to 8.8, .8, which saves the intestinal walls from damage. Production of bicarbonate can be reduced by nicotine. So smokers have an increased risk of ulcers especially in the duodenum, due to a reduction in this bicarbonate, so it's not there to neutralize the food that's coming through. Secretory action is activated by the release of hormones in the duodenum. General digestive enzymes include carbohydrates, which works on sugars and starches, lipase, which breaks down lipids, proteinase, which breaks down proteins, and nuclease, which breaks down nucleic acids. So <clears throat> here we have the illustration of the pancreas. The stomach's been removed, as well as the liver, to make it um, more easily seen. So here we have the ducts. So these chemicals will travel through this pancreatic duct to the duodenum. So they're special cells that secrete the digestive enzymes, and there's uh, a capillary rich area, and then we have hormone rich secreting cells. So these would be your uh, alpha and beta cells.